now we look at the installation part of uh, opaque technology um open the terminal so let us create a data directory first um i'm getting here so take a for examples and before getting into this uh, you have to download the big uh, relevant version here so go to the browser so there you type uh, the required version here pig so 0.160 this is what we are using now so you can go to the downloads page of apache uh, apache.org so you can download this one right which is of size 169 mb right this tar file you can download Yeah, it's already available. You can uh, go to the downloads and cancel this. Is this already available or not available? So better you download it once again. Uh, yes, the complete thing uh, is downloaded here. So now, that means uh, by right clicking on it, extract, extract or extract here. Find it here. this is the actually folder this folder so otherwise you take the location of the folder so this is the location yes. already know the location of this particular uh, download Move. I want to move this uh, particular file to any child. Yes, so anywhere you can move it. General location of this slash user slash local. Okay. So if one zero. Want to move this to the another location slash us sir and uh, so otherwise it is that location you can move it for example here i'm moving to slash us only slash us sir i'm moving so if permission is denied then uh, you should do Yeah, now uh, this particular download is moved. See uh, whether it is moved or not. You can test it. Thank you, yes, sir. So this is the installation directory. Uh, just move the allocation called uh, uh, slash yes, sir. That's enough. And now you have to set uh, path. I mean uh, path and uh, class path here. Uh, software to work, right? Go to the environment variables. Create it. Create change. Just remember. Huh? 
So now we have moved uh, the location um, from downloads to slash USR and set path for this uh, big hyphen 0, uh, 0, 0.16.0. Go to the environment variables, uh, sudo gedit dot slash slash dot dash rc uh, otherwise um, so it's available in the home directory that's why you have to use the symbol we set the path here so somewhere you can put it uh, so where we have stored this tech i mean this particular folder Exports underscore to slash slash go one six dot zero. And uh, one more thing you have to set export. Path equal to so dollar path dollar path colon as yes, sir. This is the location slash um and we staging directory. Dot dot zero. Then, so these are the two things we have to add here. Put uh, pig underscore home equal to slash users uh, slash. We have to mention. It means so the information directory is also called as uh, pig home directory, right? So this you have to set uh, an, an environment variable. And uh, one more thing, uh, you have to append the indirectly, right? So it means uh, path equal to path, path. So we are appending uh, the, uh, I mean, some extra path to the path. Okay, this is how you have to set. After setting environment variables, so you close and close. Okay, so now, uh, now before before starting it, you have to start the Hadoop cluster. If Hadoop cluster is not started, you have to start it. Now, all nodes are appearing means running means Hadoop cluster is not started. Services are running. So in this case, you need not again not started. Then you need to start the services. You are ready to work with the pig. So simply type pig x local. So as I told you earlier, there are two ways of working with the pig. So one is the local mode. Now this mode. So I'll show you the local mode and later it can also be the So pig iPhone x local. And uh, uh, before that, uh, I want to load some data into the uh, Let's I want to create a directory here. Uh, let's create mkdir directory. So inside this, uh, I want to just create sudo gedit. Okay, so my file uh, I'm creating here. So inside this text directory, um, so the roll number is ten. So the name of the ABC and then uh, his uh, 9.8. And I have one more record I want to give. Comma, name is equal to XYZ. And so this way you are mentioning the data and then here that this is uh, large volumes of data is available here. Uh, 
I have given only record two records here. Uh, you can see uh, you go to the, that particular directory CD. So ls. So you have not uh, moved it. So go back. Ls. So whether you have this file is available here. Uh, yeah. So it's available. Sample is there. Uh, I want to move this. Uh, uh, sample directory is there and then uh, uh, what is this file test file is here so the test file i want to move into the hdfs and then uh, now uh, here you write otherwise you do one thing uh, you go to you move this test file so mb uh, the test file into uh, this what is the directory yeah it's mode ls yeah test file is now available i am entering into the uh, grand shell as a if i want to work with the pig latin local and now you will here. So, grand shell means uh, your queries here. So, pig latin queries here. See the uh, instant, uh, results instantly there itself. Yeah. Uh, I have already uh, taken some data, sample data. Right? That data I want to load. Now, uh, how I can load the data is something like I'm taking some variable a is equal to um, uh, load is a statement. Load is the um, big Latin, big Latin command which is used to load the data into the see here. So my data is uh, test. So my data is test, and then extension in fact is not required. So you see using uh, pick storage it is case sensitive and then uh, my records are separated by uh, commas right? in that case you could mention so whatever data separate if the data separator is uh, space you mention a space if data separator is a colon you mention a colon there and then uh, for now I am showing you if you want to uh, offer this. So this is the function load statement is something like load, and the data item that you want to load into the uh, storage is actually the function. Okay. And then uh, if you want to write your right here. So you have to write not writing any schema here. Right. In fact, why I'm not writing any schema? So pig is schemaless. If you want to mention any schema, so it works. It's only for your reference. You can then work with that. Now you see, so data is not then I want to see uh, what is there in this variable. Right. We have looked at the data set uh, into uh, a reference here. Now you are referring it with A. Now I want to see what is there in right so that a is going to represent your relation um, you can see you better write uh, some capital this space a right there are two we call them as tuple and what are the types and what is a tuple and what is a bag okay what are the one data types that are supported by pig we will see in the next okay for now you understand these are the so if you want to do any kind of processing on this topology using uh, pig latin commands a lot of pig latin as you have a lot of operators in the um yes them you can uh, get the desired function then um, Whatever the problems you have solved, by uh, 
uh, here you can solve the same problems by using this form of uh, writing this uh, big Latin queries. But there is other way around. So if you don't want to work in fact, also uh, write all the uh, queries that you want to run single file and give the extension as dot tick. Right? There is other way around. 